This is like a cut cut down. So basically Facebook try to like it's called mother company i don't know like change to metaverse facebook will still be facebook but kind of like google has alphabet i am proud to announce that starting today our company is now meta you know that i don't know if it's sad i don't want to rip into him i don't have no personal beef with zuckerberg but you know like if you think i am awkward this guy is just on another level and I think it's like incurable level of awkward where you know that he's been spending hours on upon hours of lectures of how to speak normally. And this is still the best that he got. God bless him. I can't, I don't know if I feel bad or if it's funny. It's really weird. Our mission remains the same. It's still about bringing people together. Like everything seems so thought out. Our mission still. Mm. Bro, you can be excited. Like, yo, meta, it's hype. <laughs> this it seems so. I, I feel like I, even the eyebrows, like, he's done like 20 hour course on how to maneuver his eyebrows, which you can't even see, by the way. I just realized. Our apps and their brands, they're not changing either. And we are still the company. <laughs> oh no, sad. Where was he looking? Why do they keep that? Bro, this is your video. It's technology around people. <laughs> oh, this is like in his boot up mode. You know when the character model is in T pose? That's this is Zuck in T pose mode. <laughs> oh, bless. Hey, and welcome to Connect. Oh, thanks. Today He's got British accent now. We're going to talk about the metaverse. All right. Starting with the most important... That clip alone, that three second clip, that was like 40 tries. Today, we're going to talk about... Today, he sounds, he sounds a bit British, but we're going to go with it. That's the one we're keeping. Starting with the most important... Uh, and now we're going to put him here. Just some, to mask that we'd have to do a hard cut. Just act normal. A lot of surfboard behind him. People love surfboards, right? Experience of all. Connecting with people. Oh. I really feel for him because I know exactly what he's going for. When we shoot Coco, mu the music video, I was like, I think I feel pretty good. But then, you, then when you watch it, you're like, what the fuck am I doing with my hands? What the fuck is all of this? It's harder than you think, okay? Don't be too mean to me, Zach. I actually Imagine. empathize with... Lizard now, because I am lizard too. Instantly in your home space. Yeah, I I would pay big big money for the outtakes of this video. It has parts of the the cuts that didn't make it. Your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually, and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. I kind of like this joke. I did see this. Perfect. Base, base Mark only wears one outfit. He knows. He knows. He knows. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from a crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course. Looks like a generic spaceship, uh, you know, but you know. It's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> what are they selling here? The uh, VR? VR isn't like this. It won't be like this in a very fucking long time. I don't know why they're pretending like VR is like this. It's kind of annoying. They keep trying to sell you on these VR pipe dream, like... VR is cool, don't get me wrong, and it's definitely improved, but it's still like no one's using it for a reason. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> hey, wait, where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. 
3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over. This is the coolest. This is the coolest thing, apparently, that someone can do. All right, cool. No, it's not cool. So we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. This is the kind of thing that, like, if my friends made, I'll have this reaction, right? But a random thing is like, well, I don't know. Oh, Privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. You'll get to decide. Why should I care about a random artwork? <laughs> when you want to block someone from appearing in your space, or I gotta block you, Zach. The first thing I do. You want to take a break and teleport to a private bubble to be alone. You're gonna be able to bring things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally. Photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. And lots of things that are physical today, like screens. To be fair, I'm a lot more on board with augmented reality as opposed to just uh, pure VR. We'll just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV. It'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. And you'll be able to take your items and project them into the physical world as holograms in augmented reality, too. I don't like this future. I don't like I don't like it at all. Didn't um, Gabe Newell? I think he made a video as well, just talking about fu futuristic stuff. And billionaires clearly know something, right? They're just like in the future. There's a cyborg hug, cack brain, and they're like, "All right, calm down." Does anyone want this? Raise your hands if you want. I don't want One it. One part of this is Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. At least if this exists, I don't want Mark Zuckerberg's version of it. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it Home until now because it's been missing something very important. People. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home, where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to- Bro, what the fuck are those shitty looking avatars? I'm so negative, sorry. It's just, I- when, If you ever used a quest, you know how... badly it... performs when it comes to connecting with people. It's kind of insane how... When we- when the Quest 2 came out, the VR headset, all uh, all of our friend group got one. But to be able to actually like speak to each other in a game, it took hours. It was so difficult <laughs> to actually like, because you do a call, but then you start the game that you want to uh, talk to each other in. But then that ends the call, so you have to go out of the game to go back into the call and wait for them to go back into the call as well, or like connect. It's just mind-boggling like their whole message that they won't shut shut up about is connecting people and now they're selling you on this like oh you can go in a part and a thing it's like no it never works that well Hang you, out, watch videos together, yeah, it's too late man i ain't doing that again then, there is horizon worlds which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create and we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences from creating new games together to throwing surprises. This feels like a meme template. Family and friends around the world can join. Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote. And while I miss seeing the people I work with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're gonna need better tools to work together. Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will be like. Imagine if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of See, that's what I want augmented. I'm okay with that. Developer presence platform. Project Cambria. Now, what about unlocking more mixed reality experiences? I mean, imagine working at your virtual desk with multiple screens while seeing your real desk so clearly that you can pick up a pen and write notes without taking your headset off. Or, you know, you're doing a workout with a virtual instructor in your living room. It's gonna be so cool. We're already seeing the potentials of these kinds of experiences today as people are building for our pass-through API. 
But with Cambria, we'll be taking this to the next level with high resolution, colored, mixed reality pass through. We essentially combine an array. I think it's just gonna be novelty stuff that's like, oh, that's cool to check out. That's fun. All right, now I'm back to my computer. It's kind of like how they were trying to push like the connect on you for a while. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, that was cool. That was fun for a bit. Now I'm happy to move on to mouse and keyboard. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone's ripping at Mark's haircut. It's the most efficient haircut you can have. Did he always not have uh, eyebrows? I think getting eyebrows would do him a lot of good. Not that there's anything wrong with not having eyebrows, but you know what I mean.